Hi, it's Chase again from SafeSorb. Uh, today we're going to do a little test demonstration between uh, SafeSorb and CocoAbsorb. Uh, we've got a couple questions on CocoAbsorb and how it works with some of the Cocoa products. Now we've done tests before, uh, but today we're going to do a water or leaching demonstration to show how they work. So we've got a cup of water. I'm going to pour into each of these jars. And this test is really designed to see is the product actually absorbing or is the product sticking, uh, the oil sticking to the outside of the product. So here we have about a quarter cup of uh, transmission fluid that we will pour into each. All right, and so our cocoa absorb. Save sorb. Right, so first we'll take a look at the products and their absorption, how they're doing. Uh, you can see each of them does do some absorption as the, the oil moves through the product. Um, we also want to make sure that we're not just filtering oil and oil sticking to the outside. So we want to give the, each of the products a chance to truly absorb uh, the transmission fluid that's contained inside. To do that, we're going to mix them up. Now this will give each of the products a chance to actually touch the, each of the oil and also give us a chance to see if the oil's sticking behind or if it's actually absorbing. Standard cheesecloth here. Make sure we get all the water out. Water as we can. Looks like all the water is out of the safe zone. So our first test, you can see, you've got pretty clean water, a um, little bit of an oil sheen on this one, not much of an oil sheen, actually no oil sheen on that one. Uh, but let's look at the product afterwards and see uh, what we end up with after the product has gone through the test. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take just some white absorbent pads, these guys are good for something, and I'm going to pour the remaining product on there. So here, what we'll do is we'll just kind of kind of spread them out, not no pressure, just spread them out on onto the white pad, so we can see if we've got complete absorption. So you can see on the with the cocoa absorb, you've got an incredible amount of transmission fluid still left behind, uh, whereas in the uh, safe sorb. You have a little touch here and there, but uh, for the most part, there's no transmission fluid left behind. And that's just to show us exactly how much true absorption is taking place during the process. Thank you very much. I, actually, I'll do one more uh, example. Uh, what you have here, too, is the question of how much absorption is taking place within the products. Here, you've got clear water coming out. Uh, it looks like we got most of the water flowed through. So when you're talking about flow rate, where you actually have water moving through products, uh, you've got a pretty good flow rate. Most of the water's uh, left the safe sorb. Whereas with the cocoa absorb, most of the water, there's a fair amount of water that's still stuck and still contained inside. So hydrophobic, not quite so hydrophobic. Thank you very much. Thanks for using safe sorb.